At dawn, a cannon's roar shattered the stillness of the morning, marking another page in the annals of American history. This was not just any conflict, it was the War of 1812, a war often overshadowed by its revolutionary predecessor yet pivotal in shaping the nation's future. As we peel back the layers of history we discover a tapestry woven with valor, strategy, and an enduring quest for sovereignty. In the depths of this forgotten war lie stories of immense courage, strategic battles, and the complex interplay of diverse forces that shaped North America. The War of 1812 did not erupt out of a vacuum. Intense geopolitical strains between the burgeoning United States and the British Empire alongside grievances over maritime rights set a course for war. American sovereignty was at stake, not just on land, but also on the high seas. Press ganging or British impressment of American sailors served as a critical provocation. To Americans, these acts were blatant assaults on their burgeoning national identity and autonomy. The US saw these incidents as a direct continuation of colonial subjugation, which they had fiercely rejected in their war for independence. Native American tribes, caught between the powers of the British in Canada and the Americans in the frontier territories, played a pivotal role. Leaders like me saw alliances with the British as a strategic necessity to resist American expansion, adding another layer of complexity to the conflict dynamics. Maritime conflicts acted as the kindling for the War of 1812. The high seas were where the first sparks of war flew, with the Chesapeake Leopard Affair in 1807 standing out as a particularly egregious example of British aggression. This incident saw a British ship attack the USS Chesapeake, resulting in public outrage across the United States. Naval skirmishes were frequent, and early victories at sea by the United States, contrary to expectations, boosted American morale. Ships like the USS Constitution, Old Ironsides, became legendary, symbolizing American resilience and naval prowess. These naval victories, though isolated, served to validate the U.S. Congress's decision to declare war, and they painted a picture of a nation capable of defending its honor and sovereignty against a global superpower. The War of 1812 was marked by several key battles that had significant strategic implications. The Battle of Queenston Heights in 1812, although a British victory, showcased the fierce determination of both sides. This battle was significant not just for its military tactics, but also for the death of Major General Isaac Brock, which was a severe blow to British leadership. The Battle of Lake Erie in 1813 was a pivotal naval engagement that secured American control of the lake, disrupting British supply lines and boosting U.S. confidence. Commanded by Oliver Hazard Perry, this victory was crucial for subsequent land campaigns around the Great Lakes. The Battle of the Thames in 1813, where I fell in battle, was a turning point in the war's western theater. My death marked the effective end of the Native American coalition I had built, significantly weakening British alliances with these tribes. In 1814, British forces captured and burned Washington, D.C., an event that remains a vivid symbol of the war. This aggressive act was in part retaliation for the American burning of York, modern-day Toronto, and it struck a deep psychological blow to the American populace. The burning of the Capitol, including the White House and the Capitol, was a dramatic demonstration of the war's reach and intensity. However, it also galvanized American resistance, leading to increased support for the war effort and a surge in nationalistic fervor. The resilience shown by Americans in the aftermath of this attack, including President Madison's return to the devastated capital, underscored a renewed commitment to defend the nation and its principles. Chief Tecumseh, a Shawnee chief and visionary leader, understood that the only way to resist American expansion was through a united Native American front. His alliance with the British was not born merely out of convenience, but from a strategic vision that aimed to create a Native American Confederacy strong enough to counter U.S. forces. Tecumseh's leadership during the War of 1812 was marked by his ability to inspire and unite various tribes. His role in battles such as the Siege of Detroit and the Battle of the Thames was critical, although his death at Thames marked a significant setback for Native American resistance. 
His legacy, characterized by courage and a profound dedication to his people's sovereignty, left an indelible mark on the history of the war. Chief Tecumseh remains a symbol of resistance and leadership, celebrated for his efforts to protect native lands and culture. The War of 1812 featured significant naval engagements that shaped the course of the conflict. The British naval blockade of the American coast was particularly effective, stifling U.S. trade and exerting economic pressure. However, American privateers and warships such as the USS Constitution managed to challenge this dominance sporadically. Battles like that of Lake Champlain showcased American naval ingenuity and tactical prowess. The American victory at Lake Champlain not only secured the northern border, but also proved pivotal during peace negotiations, demonstrating the U.S. capacity to defend its territory. These naval battles underscored the strategic importance of naval power and set precedents for future American maritime strategy. The resilience and innovation displayed would help forge a legacy that influenced the U.S. Navy's future doctrines. In the southern theater of the War of 1812, Battles such as the Battle of New Orleans and the Siege of Fort Bowyer were crucial. The heroics of individuals like Andrew Jackson, who led the defense of New Orleans, became legendary, embodying the rugged determination and tactical acumen of American forces. Local militias played a significant role in the South, demonstrating the decentralized yet effective nature of American military efforts. These forces, often outnumbered and under-equipped, managed to mount significant resistance against better equipped British forces. The consequences of these southern battles were profound, boosting national morale and laying the groundwork for the expansion and political ascendance of figures like Jackson, which would shape American politics in the post-war era. Signed on December 24, 1814, the Treaty of Ghent formally ended the War of 1812. The treaty primarily restored the status quo antebellum meaning that no territorial gains were made by either side. However, it significantly addressed issues like the release of prisoners, the return of captured territories, and the establishment of a commission to settle boundary disputes. The immediate impact of the treaty was the cessation of hostilities, but its long-term effects were seen in the improved relations between the United States and Britain. The war and the treaty together marked the end of the era of conflict between these two nations and the beginning of a more cooperative phase. The Treaty of Ghent is often viewed as a diplomatic acknowledgement of the United States' sustained sovereignty, reinforcing its status on the international stage post-independence. On the British side, figures like Isaac Brock, who died defending Canada, became emblematic of British resilience and military acumen. Brock's efforts in Canada solidified his reputation as a military strategist and a martyr for the cause. The War of 1812 produced figures of monumental courage and tactical genius. On the American side, individuals like Oliver Hazard Perry, who famously declared, we have met the enemy and they are ours, and Andrew Jackson emerged as national heroes. Their victories provided the young nation with symbols of military competence and national pride. The war also highlighted lesser known heroes, including numerous Native American leaders besides Tecumseh and everyday soldiers whose names might not have been recorded in history books, but whose contributions were invaluable to their respective causes. The War of 1812 had a profound impact on the cultural identities of both the United States and Canada. In the U.S., it fostered a sense of national unity and pride, crystallizing the American identity separate from British colonial influence. The war's heroes and battles became part of American folklore, shaping the nation's historical narrative. In Canada, the war bolstered a sense of distinctiveness from the United States, contributing to the nation's path towards confederation and independence. The defense against American invasions was seen as a unifying moment for the Canadian colonies. Despite its significant impact, the War of 1812 is often overshadowed by other historical events. Its position in historical discourse is crucial, however, as it encapsulates a critical period of nation-building in North America. The War of 1812, though frequently overlooked, offers crucial lessons about resilience, the complexities of war, and the enduring quest for sovereignty. It reminds us of the importance of unity in adversity and the profound impacts of leadership and courage. As we remember the War of 1812, we not only honor those who fought, but also reflect on its significance in shaping the geopolitical landscape of North America. The echoes of their valor continue to resonate.
reminding us of the enduring human spirit in the face of conflict. Please like and subscribe to the channel.